guys, how's it going? I hope we're all doing good. So, uh, Limbus Company have released their new teaser for Canto 6, aka Heathcliff's Canto. It's called Clear or Kathy. Of course, it came out while I was away, so I'm a little bit late to reaction to this. However, I am so excited. I've avoided all spoilies. We also have a brand new ID for Heathcliff. I'm so ready. <laughs> unreal i'm so excited we're gonna dive straight in we're gonna give it a watch we're gonna try and break it down let's delve in okay let's dive in i'm so excited Torawa oh my god is this kathy's voice Oh. Oh. Ah! I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh Oh, the chills! I have got chills right now. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh my god, that's Heathcliff? <gasps> oh my god, that looks amazing! Dude, fucking chills. Oh my god. I am so hyped, dude. Oh, wow. Okay, that was such a good teaser. So, obviously, as a lot of us already know, this is going to be based on Wuthering Heights. I am going to talk a little bit about the plot of Wuthering Heights. I'll try to make sure it's not too spoilery, just in case you don't know too much about Wuthering Heights. But basically, the plot of Wuthering Heights is that Heathcliff is a child that ends up getting, like, adopted. He's from, like, a, a kind of poorer background, ends up getting adopted into this family, aka Kathy's family, that is this kind of, like, uh, more sort of rich upper class. And they basically grow up together. And as they grow up together, they, they do end up kind of falling in love with each other. However, it doesn't exactly work out the way that you think it does they don't necessarily end up together and it Heathcliff goes away and then comes back and there is a kind of whole sort of vengeance plot in there now I'm quite curious as to where this is going to kind of relate to in the Wuthering Heights book because the book actually spans over quite a huge amount of time it is a book I would definitely recommend reading and I'm definitely not going to spoil the ending of the book because hmm but any of you that have read it I am very curious as to your thoughts as to where this could kind of relate to in regards to a time era in the book would this be when maybe like Heathcliff first sort of left after the kind of first half of the book or would it be set kind of where he comes back because they're two very different points in time and Heathcliff is kind of a different person at different points in time as well you'll understand if you kind of read the book but yeah I'm also very curious about Kathy how Kathy is going to be portrayed in this and what is going on the manor felt very eerie it felt very cold and I think it's picked up the vibe from Wuthering Heights really, really well. Like I said, if you guys have read the book, you'll understand. But like, I think it's picked up that vibe extraordinarily well. It is also one of the things that's set up in the in Yorkshire, which is a place where I am from. So I know Yorkshire very, very well. So it's very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing like the references to Yorkshire and how they've kind of captured it in in this and how they've kind of used the book as a reference and how much it links in i'm really excited and i think they've done a really good job with heathcliff with his kind of with his use of language in sounding more northern um which is great so i am very excited to see how that kind of rolls over into the other characters of this as well so very very exciting stuff we are just going to very quickly go back through the trailer and just have a quick look at some of the lines that i think it was kathy that kathy said and then also the title the title is very interesting clear all kathy to me i think that could be heathcliff potentially trying to clear 
all parts of Kathy from this world and from himself. And I think this plot of vengeance is very focused towards her and the fact that he, f- I think, felt very betrayed by her but also did feel this level still feels this level of sort of like love and i guess possessiveness over kathy as well it's something that comes across very very strongly in the book it's very it's not a healthy relationship i will add by the way if anyone is thinking this is romantic it's not (laughs) it's really fucked up all the stuff that happens in the book it's really messed up so but i would recommend you read it i don't want to spoil it too much but yeah let's have a look through but i love the eeriness i love the fact it really feels like a kind of haunted manner and i also love the letter in the corner the way that this also ties back to when heath got a note from it was they he got like an invitation didn't he and then it had like the note from kathy at the bottom of it in in the previous canto love that very excited for that as well and i think this is a partially yeah like the, the the manor is going to be where they grew up it's going to be a reference to their time growing up in the moors and then like they, they used to like go out on the fields if you ever seen like a movie adaptation of wuthering heights they tend to be in the fields quite a bit and there's like a lot of flowers and stuff and it's it's kind of like a wild flower that's sort of like known for being in the moors so that's what that's sort of a reference to and to the manner where the stormbroken breach has siphoned all that was once warm. I think that's a reference to the sort of disarray and the the fight that has kind of occurred between between him and and Kathy and and the family and the fact that it's they've kind of like lost that touch and also yeah siphoned once that was all warm which is probably referring to like the fact that they were like really close before and everything so that's really sad. Oh so excited for this so excited for this so i think this is a silhouette of kathy so excited to see her design she bet she's gonna be absolutely stunning so excited um also there's a few other characters not a hundred percent sure who they're gonna end up being because i think it depends on the time that this is gonna be like referring to and what they've drawn from the book because there's a lot of very interesting characters that do pop up and i think that it just depends on on what because i think previously they've hinted at kathy being heathcliff's wife in this before i think there was something referring to that but that is like not exactly what happens in the book it is slightly different so it's oh it's gonna be so interesting oh my goodness and then it's time for you to come home oh my goodness but this bit this is i i wonder if this is gonna end up being heathcliff's ego but i wonder if maybe we're gonna get heathcliff distortion i mean this is probably reference to an abnormality that i haven't seen before it probably is please do let me know in the comments below but i reckon we could get heathcliff distortion which oh that would be fucking nuts but it would be so goddamn good dude this heathcliff is gonna be it's gonna be so wild but yeah i could kill you and tear your corpse from limb to limb a hundred times and still wouldn't be enough yeah that really is that kind of huge part of reference and i I think the anger is directed towards kathy so i do think they are probably going to steer slightly away from the plot of Wuthering Heights, as they have kind of done with other things. They've sort of stuck to it partially and then kind of veered off, obviously, for their own story to fit into the Limbus universe. So I think there is going to be some elements. I think especially their childhood and growing up and the falling in love aspect. Stuff, I think that is still going to be very much true. I mean, I reckon this will kind of spin off after Heathcliff kind of gets scorned. I think that is kind of where it will spin off. Um, so I think like the second half of the book where they're like older and Heathcliff returns and everything, I think that obviously is going to be different. I think so personally, but yeah, if you, if you have read the book, let me know your theories down below. Cause I am very, very curious and yeah, this just looks absolutely stunning, but also I wonder if these are like bindings, men represent like bindings to Kathy and that kind of like link that Heathcliff feels to her. And that he wants to like destroy her so that he doesn't have any binds to her anymore and he, he doesn't feel so trapped. Also, I'm sorry, but look at this bat. It's got like a face in it. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Oh. 
But yeah, so excited. There's also like a person up here. So excited. Okay, let's watch the other Heathcliff one. But I'm so excited to hear your guys' theories on this because, oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, so the other trailer that we've got to watch is the... How do you pronounce that? That's an umlaut. Um, Elfie, maybe? Association South Section 3 Heathcliff. I don't recognise the name of this association. Is this a new association? And if it is, oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Limbus Company. 그럼, oh my god. Oh, the music. 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 Oh, the 반드시 외우 피해서 완수한다. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. First of all, uh, that music. Need that back. That music was fucking. That was like some out of Bloodborne. That was like some out of Dark Souls. <laughs> that was dope. I need that music back. Or I need that music to be available in the next Canto, please. Because that was awesome. Very interesting outfit. Yeah, I loved the music. I think the music was probably my favorite thing in there. But seeing Heathcliff with another ID is very exciting. I think it definitely looks a, like quite Victorian. Kind of like this top bit especially looks very Victorian. And then the sort of trousers look quite kind of a little bit Tudor-esque. It's a very British looking outfit, which is actually kind of great but i would say very historical british kind of looks like a bowler hat which same again i think is there a bowler hat no i don't think it's round enough to be a bowler hat i'm not big on fashion history look at me i'm wearing a one-piece t-shirt and a turtleneck <laughs> like i'm not big on fashion but yeah it looks it looks really dope i i think especially the top part looks very victorian which i love that it's embracing that especially considering the weathering heights and the fact it was written around the time of emily bronte and the whole victorian era-esque of it i think it looks so dope so excited to see more from this canto it's so soon 28th guys oh my gosh i'm so excited Okay, are you excited for the new Canto? Please do let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you think. What do you think this Canto is going to be about? Where do you think this is going to kind of leave off from the book? I obviously didn't want to talk too much about the main plot details, but obviously everyone knows about Kathy, but I didn't mention about the other characters that Heathcliff wants vengeance on, but I don't want to spoil it too much for anyone that hasn't read the book. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited for this new character? Are you guys gonna be doing pulls? Yeah, let me let me know all. Let me know all down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Plenty more content on this channel for you to enjoy. And I will be streaming this on this channel. So if you wanna check that out, don't forget to hit the notifications to find out when I'm live. And you can also join the socials. The Discord is down below. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys very, very soon. Have an amazing rest of your day.